hey guys welcome to my youtube channel and uh, in this video today i am going to take you through the next terminology that is networking standards and standards organizations so we have a couple of organizations uh, who defines couple of rules procedure and all those things should be followed by the you know organizations as well as uh, other other people or other parties who is somewhere involved in the process of networking whether it is vendor or manufacturer or user so that is what i'm going to discuss in this video i hope this is going to be informative so guys first of all you should have clear idea about uh, uh, the, the topic only so the topic is once again i will tell you like uh, networking standards so what is the definition of networking standard standards okay so guys it is like you know a networking standard is a set of specifications okay so it will it, it will have lots of specifications guidelines or characteristics applied to network component to ensure interoperability and consistency between them let me uh, let me tell you a few things here uh, just now i uh, got it i, I mean uh, i know about it but uh, it came to my mind see what happened initially when uh, technology came into existence or uh, initially in used what was happening uh, there was a monopoly monopoly means uh, like if one company is uh, uh, like you know uh, manufacturing uh, manufacturing some product so those product were working with those companies only for example i have one hp uh, cpu okay so hp i should have hp monitor i should have hp keyboard hp uh, all those things from one hp one company only so that was the problem earlier so in that condition what was the problem see if this monitor is available for 5000 rupees okay and i don't have 5000 rupees i have 2000 rupees but as per the monopoly and this problem i have to pay 5000 rupees so that was a big problem so in that come uh, that time uh, certain standards organizations came into existence and they defined certain policies specifications for all the manufacturers and they should follow if they don't follow they will have to pay uh, some charges or penalties so that is what here uh, i have mentioned or it is actually i, I should not say i have mentioned i'm just telling you like networking uh, networking standard is a set of specification guidelines and characteristics applied to network component so network component is like i if i have i'm using this my my computer is hp okay but my monitor is dell and i have dell keyboard and mouse so they are interoperable uh, operational i should say and they are inter op uh, i mean i'm using i'm i'm using all those things and everything is working that is the concept to remove this monopoly this uh, standard specification came in existence into picture and according to that now we, uh, that monopoly is gone so same thing like hp can work with dell dell can with work uh, interoperate we can interoperate and they will have they will not have any problem or between all the components okay and it is happening only because of those specifications and guidelines uh defined or made by uh, these uh, networking standards organizations i will tell you about all those things also here only and uh, networking standards determine everything from the size shape and uh, uh, type of connector on the network cable uh, to the number of computers that can attest to the network okay so it is a, it is a complete book you can say just like uh, you know one syllabus book like mathematics physics chemistry and all so it has lots of information which defines each and everything what type of cable be connected to which computer what network what connector so it has lots of information even size like 10 meters uh, whether that this cable can carry transmit uh, data for 10 meters or 100 meter or not like that each and every information it has okay and uh, next thing about this one is like you know uh, formal uh, formalization of standards so guys standards can be de facto okay you should understand this it can be de facto means what is the meaning of this that they have been widely adopted through use 
or de jure meaning that they are mandated by law or have been approved by a recognized body or experts uh such as the internet organization of international organization of uh, standardization so once again in very simple language i will tell you uh, it can be de facto meaning like you uh, know it should be adopted by everybody okay throughout the world and uh, it should be approved by someone that is the meaning of de facto here very simple or uh, formalization of standards so it should be defined by someone it should be accepted by some uh, it should be accepted by everybody and it should be followed by everybody and uh, let me give you some more information about this example for uh, you can see i have network standards all information inside this book so you, if you want to read about connectors if you want to read about cable length if you want to read about number of computers and uh, lots of things it is it is it is a complete syllabus okay and uh, if any organization doesn't fall, uh, follow this any manufacturer doesn't follow this then they will have lots of problems lots of challenges and those organizations will be monitoring all those all the all the thing whether it is followed by or not very simple and uh, see now here i will tell you standards organizations okay guys so there are number of standards bodies that issues standards uh, that are important in the field of computer networking so there are so many uh, bodies or you can say standards organizations available so few of them is like you know iso ieee ansi and uh, apart from this tia and uh, eia and ie tf so they have big name like iso stands for international organization for standardization this ieee stand for institute of electrical and electronics engineering american national standard institute okay ansi and uh, telecommunication industry association that is known as tia and electronics industry alliance that is e i a apart from this uh internet engineering task force i e t f so uh, let me tell you about all those all those standards organization one by one year so guys first of all if you see about if you want to know about like you know international organization for standardization that is known as iso so it is it is the largest standards development body in the world uh, comprising the national standard institute of 148 countries okay so 148 countries need to follow the specification the rules the guidelines the standards defined by this organization very simple okay and even you may have heard about this my organization has iso certification or iso certified like that okay next thing about this it is a non government organization issuing uh, voluntary standards in dozens of field from agriculture to textile so they don't have a one specific area or field to uh, you know define uh, guidelines and all they have multiple areas for example agriculture to textiles and uh, the short name iso is not an abbreviation for the name of the organization in any particular language what was derived from the greek word isos meaning equal okay so in greek the meaning of or uh, international organization for standardization that is iso is equal so guys this is about iso and there there will be lots of certification in this iso certification and uh, lots of certification available next one is institute of electrical and electronics engineers that is also known as ieee so guys the uh, ieee is an organization dedicated to advancing theory and technologies in the electrical science so it is dedicated for electrical science they will define as much as they can uh, define to you know uh, bring new methods new process something new something advanced to enhance the existing infra or production or services and uh, the standard beings 
of IEEE issues standards in areas such as electrical communication or uh, circuit uh, circuitry computer engineering electromagnetic and nuclear science so they have again they, they they also have lots of areas to work and field next one is american national standards institute so guys ansi is a national standard institute of the united states and uh, facilitates the uh, foundation of a variety of national standards as well as promoting the uh, promoting those standards internationally so basically it is a you know american uh, you can say organization so they develop lots of things for themselves as well as for international level and apart from this you can read couple of things here i'm going to the next one now guys the next one is like telecommunication industry association that is known as TIA and Electric Electronic Industry Alliance. So you guys, these two trade associations are accredited by the NSI to develop and jointly issue TIA, EIA standards for telecommunication and electronics. So it is, it is, a, it is a, you can say it is a partner of uh, ANSI only and they define lots of protocols, standards and guidelines for uh, telecommunication and electronics next one is ietf that is known as internet engineering task force so guys this is one of the you know loosely organization set uh, of boards working group committee and uh, commercial organization that together develop and maintain internet standard and contribute to the evolution and a smooth operation of internet so they are dedicated to manage and see or you can say monitor how internet is working or how it should work okay all published internet standards documents known as request for comments that is also known as rcf are available through the ietf so guys here this video is over i hope this information is helpful informative and if you feel just to like share comment and subscribe hit this bell icon and in next video i will meet you and we will discuss about what is notes notes okay what is the definition of nodes and uh, uh, what is the network backbone so i'm going to discuss all those things in my next video so see you there till then bye bye